Welcome back to our three-part tutorial on color grading with Video Studio. In this final part, we'll be looking at HSL tuning. HSL is only included with Video Studio Ultimate. Let's go back to our other clip for this one. Double-click the clip, choose Color, and then choose HSL Tuning. HSL stands for Hue, Saturation, and Lightness, and each one can be adjusted independently from this drop-down menu. Hue is the specific color that is used, which is visualized by the sliders here. For example, if we slide the yellow value to the left, our yellows will become more orange. And if we slide it to the right, the yellows become more green, as we can see in the color of the inflatable in the clip here. Or we can use the click and drag tool. Just select this tool and then drag left or right on the color that we want to alter directly on the clip itself. So if we do this on the yellow inflatable, you'll see it's mostly changing the yellow slider but it's also changing the green slider a little bit as there is a tiny bit of green in the inflatable as well. But it's only affecting those two colors and every other color in the clip is untouched. So you can use the hue section of HSL to selectively target colors, maybe change the color of someone's t-shirt or the sky or whatever you like. So that was changing hue. Let's drop down and select saturation. Saturation is how vibrant a color is or how far away it is from gray, which again is indicated by the sliders. Turning a slider down makes that color more gray, so we can click and drag on the inflatable. Dragging to the left, it just drains the red until it's much closer to gray. And if we drag the other way, it's like a more vivid, deeper, almost cartoon-like pinky red. Lightness is how much black or white there is in the color, which again is reflected in the sliders here. Turn to the left to make that color darker, or move it to the right to make that color brighter. Let's use this on the color of the water in this clip. In this case, this adjusts both the cyan and blue sliders, and we can make the water darker or brighter, depending on what we're going for. For areas of your clip that are multiple colors, it does matter exactly where the middle of your click and drag crosshair is when you select. As we can see, I've chosen a slightly different region here, and now it's affecting green as well as cyan and blue. So, hopefully, you have a better understanding of color grading and the various ways you can get this done in Video Studio Ultimate. Remember, color grading is an art in itself, and it's wise not to go too far. Tweaking your clips so that they pop can really put your projects onto the next level visually. But beware cranking all those dials just because you have them. Unless, of course, that's the creative effect that you're going for. Happy editing.